Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with Danmachi season 3 episode number 3. Okay, in the previous episode we got to meet a new character or a new god that is uh, Ikelos. And uh, I have to say like he seemed, um, I don't know, manipulative. And like we've seen uh, gods who like uh, are kind of bad, for example Ishtar and uh, like uh, gods who are like what can i say do stuff uh, that they, like they are like uh, whimsical and do stuff their own like example freya uh, like she is all about uh, like seeing bell's growth and that too in like some like the ways she the ways uh, the way that she uses in doing that uh, are sometimes a bit extreme but still they are like looking for like she is looking out for bell's growth uh, in her own way and also obviously like we have also seen god who are like kind and like gentle hearted for example Hestia and a lot of others uh, most of the other gods so like these are like the distinctions of gods here and uh, like uh, this guy this Ikelos seems uh, like uh, quite manipulative and uh, like a bit what can I say um, uh, like what like he loves uh, seeing uh, people uh, in like uh, problems and all I think like it is something like that because uh, the way he like uh, said stuff like in the previous episode we saw him uh, like taking a neutral stance and enjoying whatever the hell was happening whatever that his uh, like children were doing and took a neutral stance that is the like definition of someone who sits in the sidelines and watches the fun so he is uh, something like that, as far as I could tell. I don't know, uh, like whether, like what, uh, like whether my stance on him is going to change or not in the future episodes. But we'll probably see, uh, like what he actually is, what he wants, and like why is he doing stuff like this. And we also like met a few, uh, not few, uh, one of the um, what can I say, uh, talking monsters, who has intelligence and uh, that harpy. I think it was the harpy under the hood. So yeah, I'm quite uh, like uh, interested to see where this goes because uh, like this concept of intelligence monsters are quite new to the people here. So like uh, I'm quite interested to see how they like tackle with this. And as Orano said, will they be able to like uh, make people accept these monsters? So yeah, guys. Without further ado, let's get started with episode number three of Danmachi season three. Okay, so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> okay, so the guild is in uproar. Oh yeah, uh, oh boy, this is like a problem. Team leader. Oh, we, we've not seen this guy before. It's the first time we see. Oh no. Are they like suspecting him? Oh, okay. Hmm. I lo love the new style, like uh, of Bell, like uh, with that like red scarf and white uh, armor plating. Uh, okay, that's not a scarf. That's like a more like a blanket. Okay, there's a guy. The trash suit wearing god. <laughs> I 
one thing I really don't know what like uh, the enemy in this like uh, arc I think is I think that guy called Dix and obviously like uh, Ikalos is also kind of like a ma minor antagonist I think but like that guy Dix I don't know why he looks boring like he is too generic like I don't know uh, we'll probably see what he is like uh, how he is as a character but as far as we s saw he seems a copy paste anime villain like uh, I don't know <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's my mission. Okay. <clears throat> and who chose them? Like... The sit Who... Oh my god, wait, what? So, they know? Like, is Oranus pulling some strings or something? Like, they're the only one that knows, aren't they? Well, yeah, Beth cannot say anything because she's one of the people from the guild. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing this is like uh, done by Oranos. Yeah, it's quite like difficult. Oh, yeah, th that's also another. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, like sh she was also in like winner's position once. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so let's go, 20th floor. Oh, this is Venus room. I was thinking like, where was the room? Why is there like wing out like
Oh no, what is happening? Are these the monster? Oh boy. Oh boy, they got. Yeah, it was on runners, okay. Okay, so like they're like luring, uh, like using them as a lure to capture the bad guys, okay. Okay. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's uh, what was his name? Name Fels or something? Oh, there was some hidden. Oh boy. Okay, that was. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is he showing his face? Oh boy. Well, and I guess like we won't be able to see. Damn, this dungeon is like merciless. Oh boy. Yeah. <clears throat> Level up time. And we did not get to see his face. Well, hmm. No, there must be some kind of secret. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, so this was like some kind Well, hmm. Oh, boy, these are high level monsters. Oh, damn. My god, they're like insects and all. Okay, well, <laughs> that takes care of it. Hmm.
Oh, is that so? Okay, so Hester also doesn't know about uh, the intelligent monsters and all. Okay. Oh, so it's like, oh, okay, well, hmm. Oh, what's happening? Oh boy, okay. Well, this is a horror movie. Okay. Oh my. Damn. Oh no, it's dark now. Oh, there are like trolls and everything. What the hell? Okay, so these monsters also have a bit of intelligence then. Not as much as like the monsters who talk, but... Oh my god. Lamia and everything. Oh boy. Well, these guys are a bit too strong. What the hell? What's that? Some kind of... Oh no! Oh no, they're like extremely... Oh boy! Oh no! Okay! Damn. Wait, oh, it's Argonaut. Well, yeah, there's no choice. You have to use Argonaut. Oh, damn. Well, but that was one of them. There are a lot more. Oh boy, this is um and oh boy. 
Um, that did not work. What the? Oh, is this like... Wait. Oh, so are they like some kind of a group of monsters who who work together and everything? Ray. Okay, so these are like Oh boy, these monsters are quite strong, like Okay Wait a minute Gil is helping the monster Okay, so this is like a secret some kind of Oh, so this is like a village. Damn, so like they uh, made a portion of the dungeon, dungeon into like a habitable place and they're like living here now. Lid. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Damn. Mm, oh boy. Well. <laughs> mm, I, I... <laughs> and. <laughs> I can see one thing, I'm going to talk about it later on. Oh boy. Damn, these are like a... Is this ReZero? <laughs> Get away from the rabbit. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so So like they are like some kind of like new type of what can I say? Um like kind of like a mutation from the normal monsters I think so counter that what Xenos so like a new type of okay yeah so as I was saying, like, so they're like kind of a mutation, but for the good part. Hmm. Okay, so 
like they got like involved in a pretty big deal <laughs> like ah uh. so the thing that happened i'm guessing is like the xenos they are like i'm guessing like they are like some kind of a mutation for like on the other um normal monsters like the monsters that do not have intelligence but they are a bit different and they have intelligence and after they started appearing obviously like uh, they are a new type of being but the normal people won't accept it so like i think like oranos and like they were like kind of waiting for kind of a change to happen and bell uh, like started this change of like trying to protect uh, monsters and he took like this as an opportunity to bring change to the lower world and start like introducing these monsters into the normal human society so yeah okay is that the end yeah okay so that's the end and um uh, let's see just a sec here it is <laughs> like the <laughs> the rabbits from reducer are here this one <laughs> three of them <laughs> like these rabbits are different but these are the re zero rabbits they have like <laughs> traveled from re zero to here <laughs> god damn <laughs> oh boy <laughs> like the horn and everything the face everything these this is these are the re zero rabbits <laughs> okay and that was the thing, funny thing that <laughs> um i saw yeah okay so let's talk about this episode um all right so Nah, this was like a fairly straightforward episode as well. Uh, nothing much happened. The only thing that we got to see was uh, that uh, the guild is now, and like uh, I think like the guild is obviously like connected to Oranos, and he is like uh, someone like one of the high people, and uh, he has like influence on the guild and all. So he took this as an opportunity to like introduce these uh, monsters into the real world like i think he was like waiting waiting for like an opportunity like this like uh, he was waiting for someone to like understand try to at least try to understand these monsters and unless and until like someone like put, put the effort of understanding these monsters nothing would have happened so uh, my guess is like he was like uh, letting these monsters uh, these new type of monsters live in that dungeon uh, uh, on their own unless and until someone uh, tried to help them and seeing that bell uh, was the one who started to introduce this change in the real world he took the, this opportunity and decided to what can i say uh, decided to like like uh, yeah take this opportunity and make the monsters uh, re slowly and gradually reveal themselves to the other people uh, so that uh, like they can also get a place in the lower world because obviously like they are also uh, they have intelligence and everything and like uh, they're just like humans the only thing that they are different uh, they are, they are uh, the only thing that is different about them is uh, outer appearance and everything so they should definitely get the same uh, what can i say rights and everything as a human and seeing that uh, monsters there were like no like these type of monsters there were no these type of monsters before obviously this is like a problematic thing and it is like problematic in that sense is, is that introducing this will uh, like make people what can i say fear them or not accept them and um like like they will like be discriminated in uh, one word so i'm guessing like oranos is trying to like uh do something 
that would uh, like make them able to live out in the open but at the same time not face any discrimination so he took this opportunity and uh, decided that yeah bell is someone who is who has obviously like uh, bell has some what can i say uh, previous records like good records he did a lot of stuff uh, quite uh, like what can i say um, quickly for example his leveling up and everything and obviously like uh, i'm guessing he uh, like oranus also knows that zeus is the one that uh, was best grandfather and uh, <clears throat> so i'm guessing like he also had this like hope that <clears throat> bell would definitely bring some changes in the lower world so like seeing that yeah bell is trying to do something uh, he like took that opportunity and decided to glow, go uh, like start uh, on his plan and uh, <coughs> uh, yeah and uh, this will take quite a bit of time and i really don't know how they're go be, they'll be able to like uh, make this happen like uh, make people accept monsters because like the amount of um, discrimination we saw before was ex like quite huge and uh, like i don't know i'm guessing like uh, there were no one before who like at least sympathized with some monsters because otherwise like this is extremely uh, no um i'm guessing like there were no one before who like met these monsters and uh, who had the what can i say uh, like patience to understand them or had the like kindness in their heart to at least like uh, wait and watch how they are like uh, i'm guessing like even if people met these monsters they were either like did never try to understand them or just like the the thing that happened in the um, uh, town where winner tried to help the little kid like she definitely helped her uh, helped the little kid but the other people saw the monsters and thought that yeah this is a monster so obviously like he she was trying to kill the child and uh, the child was also like a very little so uh, she uh, like she also was unable to understand what was happening and thought that uh, most probably uh, like uh, this monster is going to uh, hurt me and that is the reason also why like she shouted and that also like uh, triggered like uh, and uh, added flame to the fuel and all of the other people started thinking like yeah this monster is attacking the child so like there were no uh, people who like at least tried to listen or uh, understand these monsters so uh, like nothing could be done and like this is something that uh, like the, none of the people has any fault because like uh, they are like accustomed to monsters killing their people so obviously like if you start saying that yeah monsters are good they would not be able to um, like uh, understand you and would probably think like yeah you're talking all uh, like nonsense so yeah and uh, one thing I am uh, a bit what can I say like when the other monsters were attacking them they had like red eyes like what was that like was that so, like I thought like they were like uh, probably in a uh, like uh, berserk state or like they were s somehow drugged but because like uh, <clears throat> excuse me when like when these monsters were attacking them i thought i thought that they were like the monsters who uh, dicks and his like ikelos family uh, were like keeping or like drugging and i, th I thought that most probably like they l uh, lured well and everyone here and decided to um like let them uh, like freed the monsters in, in front of them and decided to kill them that way or something uh, so i thought that the, the, these monsters were under like a like uh Ikelos family as uh, like effect or drug effect or whatever that they were doing with them so um but uh, like my uh, assumption was wrong they were <laughs> like trying to test them and uh, yeah but now I'm thinking like uh, these guys are pretty strong like Bell and all of them were barely able to stop them and there are like so many of them so like I don't know like I'm, I'm thinking like 
uh, even if like the Icarus family tries to like stop uh, Bell and everyone, they have like a huge support behind them now. Uh, I'm talking about Bell and uh, his uh, friends. So yeah, like I'm thinking like how will we like they are extremely strong now if uh, these uh, monsters like ally with them. So yeah, like like I'm quite interested to see like how they are going to do this because obviously like these there are these monsters are extremely strong and there are a lot of them so yeah that's something that we can like uh, and that I'm quite interested to see how they like pull this out uh, pull this off and uh, yeah and uh, another thing that Orano said is that uh, the words that he said that these monsters suddenly appeared so he also did not know anything about these monsters so there are like some kind of uh, a new type of um species no not species a uh, new type of um what a new category of monsters so yeah like obviously like uh, there are a lot of things uh, that uh, happen uh, naturally without uh, what can i say uh, anyone's like interference so I'm guessing like uh, these monsters are also some kind of an exception to the other monsters and they have intelligence and all and uh, uh, yeah they called themselves as Xenos so like uh, they named also named themselves so yeah okay so yeah that was this episode and uh, now at least like Bell and his like familiar has some kind of backup like they were like almost alone in this whole thing like uh, i doubt any like any of the other like people in the uh, lower world would help them so like I, this was like a uh, quite a big concern because like they are just one family and they have like limited amount of people but now at least like they have quite a huge number of um what can i say uh, help or like backup with them so yeah that will like probably um like help them a lot in the future and all of these monsters like there are so many of them like i can see like a lamia let, let me just check them once more uh lizard men goblins and there's like some kind of a mushroom <laughs> um a wolf we can see um and um what are those like a, kind of like a demon like uh, with a goat head uh, a frog a weird um <laughs> what is that like a crab monster or something uh, rabbits uh, unicorn rabbits and uh, what else um a troll uh, a, a, a type of a ghost thing and uh, harpy and uh, what is that uh, a, a person like wearing a shaman mask or something and uh, wow there are a lot of like uh, animals here like not animals like monsters here like i never like uh, saw these amount like these type of varieties there's like an ant type of thing as well a boar and uh, what else yeah yeah i think that's it ha <laughs> a lot of them and bill made friends with the monsters and all <laughs> and a rabbit the rabbit like that hugged the bell and all <laughs> okay that rabbit is different from the unicorn rabbit like that is a normal rabbit <laughs> But the unicorn rabbits, my god. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was this episode. Um, okay, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to share about this episode. I'll be sure to check them out. And uh, so yes, I'll be back with a new uh, Danmachi Season 3 episode next week, same time. So yeah, so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.